if you listen to part one, you understand that synchronicities are maybe not so much magical, but it's a, a function of our brain called the RAS, reticular activating system, that is heightened and aware, right? If, I, if I'm aware of 11 and 11, my RAS is going to constantly seek out every single thing in my environment to support 1111, that it's an important number for me. So explain RAS and how it believes everything that you believe as true. Okay, it takes whatever you believe, accepts it as true, and gathers up data and information and evidence to support you. How do you break that? Well, one of the ways, I'm gonna go through a whole series of, of ways to break these types. So how do you break this? Well, the first way that you could break this is called a pattern interrupt. It's a very common hack, my hack. I'm gonna share one of Mel Robbins. It's called the five second rule. If you have a habit or a thing that you want to do or have, so let's say every day you wanna make sure that you get out of bed at a certain time. You don't hit the snooze and, and maybe you wanna to go to the gym or you, you wanna just get up at a certain time so that you can get certain things done. When that alarm goes off, so before you have a chance to hit snooze, you want to use this pattern interrupt, which is called 54321, which breaks that RAS cycle. It, it confuses the brain. It interrupts the pattern. So you never go to the next thought, which is, I'm too tired. I don't want to get out of bed. It's too cold. I don't want to feel like, I don't, I don't want to go to the gym. I don't feel like going to the gym. So the, the pattern interrupt is, let's say, setting the alarm, the alarm going off. And as soon as the alarm goes off, your brain doing the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Interrupt the pattern that previously happens day after day. Oh, I'm too tired. I don't want to get up. It's cold. I don't want to go to the gym. It's too hard. Interrupt that pattern with the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And immediately take action. Do the thing. Just get up and do it. It's the only way that you break the habit. So the, the action not only gives you the results that you set out to get, like what you intended to do, but it also created a new neural pathway. That new neural pathway is also going out and seeking new evidence to support the reasons why you should do the thing that you want to do, which overrides the old evidence that you've been gathering. Right, So you have all this evidence that getting up early and going to the gym and working out is hard, it's strenuous, it doesn't work. You want to disrupt that. You want to disrupt that all that is is a habit. It's just a habit. None of those things are actually true because millions and millions and millions of people get up, go to the gym, and it works for them. You, we have a habit. I'm just using the gym as an example. We have a habit, though, of thinking negatively about a certain thing that we desire. You have to break the habit. So you're not only breaking the habit, you're also changing the chemistry in your brain. It's creating a new neural pathway. As your brain chemistry is changing, so is your focus. As your focus is changing, so is your life. Look, at try the five-second rule for the next 10 days and watch the magic happen. Let me know in the comments how it works for you.